The rain has dissipated here in Napoli, and we got some sun, and Dude, I'm feeling good. Beautiful out all of a sudden. I love it. And today for the food review, we are gonna do deep fried pizza. That's right. Naples is known for pizza frita. So we're gonna have that for the first time today. Go to an iconic spot, tons of reviews, also recommended to us by our Airbnb host, who is from here, and that was one of the tops on her list that she sent to us on WhatsApp. So we're gonna get what the locals like. Yeah. So uh, for the first time, man, I'm about to devour some pizza frita. You wanna, Very pumped. You wanna give them a quick swoop of where we're standing? You guys wanna see this? Look at that, look at how gorgeous. Just this piazza is. Beautiful piazza, no big deal. Ooh, that's some nice scenery for a food review. <laughs> Ooh, we even got like a little sun flare going there. All right, fine, we'll show you food now. Okay, we got the pizza pockets. <laughs> soccer, soccer club. <laughs> so Corey and I got the exact same thing. Corey, what is this? What is on this? Okay, I'm gonna read it off the menu because I don't know what it is. <laughs> we got the pizza frita completa el cato. It translated like prosciutto to high quality cotam. Only fresh thighs of Italian pork. <laughs> Ridiculous. What? Uh, mixed ricotta and Matessi buffalo milk. Also smoked provolone mixed with the same buffalo milk. Italian tomato, ground black pepper from Thalassery. So probably some sort of region that makes great pepper, I'm assuming. <laughs> We're gonna split this baby open so we can get a good thumbnail. Why don't you guys take in real quick before I do the split, the odd shape of this thing. So odd. There's this weird, you see this weird finger that it's got in the middle? It's like, got like a little tiny dick. Yeah. That's inappropriate. All right, you guys, deep fried pizza in <laughs> Naples. Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm. Whoa. Oh my great. God, it's so creamy. All that cheese, dude. This is not like, it's like a light batter. Yeah, it does not feel heavy. It reminds me of funnel cake. Oh my God. The cheesy, like gooey, salty. Oh my God. This is so good. I feel like this is a great drunk food. Oh, it so would be. I'll tell you what, eating in these beautiful piazzas. With the Mount Vesuvius to our right, mm -hmm. and right behind us, the Domo, the Naples Domo, pretty sick. Ooh. This is pretty legit, I wanna try more flavors. What a fun thing that they're known for. I had no idea they had deep fried pizza. <laughs> yeah. What was the name of this restaurant? <laughs> Do you remember? This is Antica Pizza Frita da Zia Esternina Sorbillo. Mm. This is uh, one of the more well-known spots that does these. Lots of great reviews online of this place. It's crazy, like, they got quite a bit of a line there, and they really work in batches. Like, no one gets served for like five, six, seven full minutes. Seven minutes, we were there for like 25 minutes. I okay, I, <laughs> I'm not good with time. <laughs> I'm weird with time overseas. It was long enough that multiple people left. Mm -hmm. Then they serve a bunch of people in a row, and then there's a big gap again. Yeah, you gotta looks, have some patience. Yeah, it looks from the pictures in there like there was a an old lady who was the proprietor and probably originator of mm -hmm. this spot. Yeah, uh, it was now based off of the black and white pictures. Look very dated. I bet she's dead. But the tradition continues. Mm. Chicago has the pizza puff, which is pretty popular at like late night spots. This is like that done so much more mm -hmm. handcrafted. <laughs> this is staying on that funnel cake thing I'm pitching. Mm -hmm. This feels like Italian carnival food. Absolutely. We've had amazing mm. margarita pizza and now deep fried pizza for them breakfast and now lunch because like this is just later after that other video. This is really good. I really dig it. I'm slamming this thing. I don't know what, how they deep fry this to be so, I don't know, I don't know how to describe this other than funnel cake. The cheese and sauce combination is so unique. It tastes like Unlike any kind of yeah filling I've had, and it's so refreshing. Last bite. Hey, me too. Yeah, so I actually finished it for you. Barely. So I I back. Swallow it whole. <laughs> Just to beat me. Mmm. Wow, you guys. That's a fun street food right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
We've been doing this for the past week. Is this a must stop? Is this good? Get it if you walk by it. Is it kind of average or is it a skip? What do you yeah. got? So that flaky bread was really good. The ingredients were really good. It's not to the level of greatness mm -hmm. of the other items that we've had. It's more like quick, if you catch the line at the right time, drunk food. Yeah. So I think it's all like dependent on the situation. But if you're hammered and you're not about to go to a restaurant, and this place is open. I would say it's it's a it's a go get. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely not like a I'm the level of the other things drop everything kind of must get thing. I think it's great to like kind of you could even grab one of those and share it if you're with somebody and you're just trying to try a bunch of foods in a day. Mm -hmm. But like you don't have to go out of your way. I think for that specifically. The good thing is it's not so big and filling. I know. So you you can like you can kind of eat it almost as like a midday snack. When you're on vacation, totally you're really gonna be a fat. You know. Like Absolutely. And oh, for price, those were only four fifty each. Pretty big food for. 450. Yeah, that's right. Everything's been so affordable here. I love I know, it. It's kind of wild. All of our tabs at everything we do is like nine, ten bucks, like total. Fun thing about this piazza that we're standing behind too. I started seeing a bunch of people walking around blindfolded. <laughs> so the story is, is that one of the old rulers of Napoli, uh, as kind of a fun game for themselves, would once a month let some prisoners. Uh, give them the opportunity to get their freedom if they could be blindfolded and walk from one end Whatever this building is must be some sort of pal Palatial like a palace type thing. I don't know from this building where these statues are Over in between these two statues back here if they could walk blindfolded straight through those statues Handcuffs off you're free Houdini style, but I uh, guess it just they, it didn't happen because there was there was a curse. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of fun. Yeah, one weird. of those weird fun history things about when you're walking around. But if you come here, you'll probably see some people with blindfolds walking around. So mm -hmm. uh, we spotted about a dozen of them. So you know, there's some fun facts. Yeah, that's awesome. Live with I it. I dig it. <laughs> now you know that. Live now you know it. that. Deal live with it. Deal with knowledge. I don't care. Guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're putting out a bunch of Italy content while we're here. All thanks to you guys. How about this for a question today? What Italian food do you wish they would deep fry? For you to eat. Ooh. Is there something specifically you're like, you know what? I would love some. Ooh. I would love some vodka sauce penne pasta oh, deep fried. I was gonna say penne. There you go. Let us Man, know. Man, I'm still commenting it. I don't care. <laughs> Let us know what you want to see deep fried. That's a fun one today. It's almost like little French fries. You deep fry a bunch oh of them individually. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, penne works. Penne works sauce. on pizza. What penne, about the penne on the pizza deep fried? No, <laughs> I want penne and no. I want like a little Alfredo dipping sauce and a little. Uh, marinara dipping sauce. I'm I love that. Bleep, bleep. Oh, dude, I shouldn't have said that out loud on this video. Someone's gonna steal this idea. <laughs> you need to take that to the bank. <laughs> we'll see you guys very soon for another video on the channel. Italy, keeping it rolling. Thank you guys for being here. We couldn't do it without you. First day in Naples, uh, almost done. Yeah, crazy. It's still somehow only like day three for us. Yeah, we got four more days of content to make. We live here now. All right, ciao, Bellas.